Welcome to Basket of Tales, a time travel into the world of stories. Welcome to Basket of Tales. Nepal lies between China and India in South Asia. Nepal has the greatest altitude change of any location on Earth. The lowlands are at sea level and the mountains of the Himalayas are the tallest in the world. The Himalayas formed 10 to 15 million years ago when India collided with the continent of Asia and pulled the land into high mountains. Nepal has a rich history and is known for its famous folk tales. Hi, this is Aisha, and as you might have guessed, today's story is based on a Nepali folktale, a story of a sparrow's lost bean. Once there was a little sparrow. This sparrow was always on the hunt for something to eat, and one day it happened upon a big, huge bean. Excited at his good fortune, he snatched up the bean and flew away with it. But before he could eat it, he had to wash his hands. He set the bean down on a bridge and flew down to the river below to clean up. I just can't wait for my wonderful breakfast, said the sparrow. The sparrow said to himself as he made his way back up the bridge. I won't have to forage for a week. But when he got back to his hiding place, the bean was gone. As the sparrow scurried around looking for his lost treasure, he spied a carpenter going over the bridge. Excuse me, can you help me find my bean? The sparrow asked. Please, do I look like I have time to find a tiny bean? Find it yourself, said the car- carpenter as he stomped away. Next, the sparrow saw a soldier coming over the bridge. He asked the soldier the same question. Please, little bird, I don't have time for you, he said and marched on. A captain followed him, but he wouldn't help either. Then a minister came walking by, but before the sparrow could even ask, he laughed and walked away. The little bird had almost given up hope when the king came up the bridge, riding on an elephant. The sparrow recited his plea once again, but the king ignored him. The sparrow sat on the bridge, sad and hungry. An ant came crawling by. What's wrong, little friend? it asked. The sparrow told the ant his story. I think I have an idea, said the ant, and he scurried up to the elephant, up its leg, over its back, and into its ear. Tell the king to find that poor bird's food, or I will go inside your ear and bite you. The elephant stopped, turned to the king, and said, Go help that sparrow, or I will throw you off. The king was scared. He called the minister over and said, Go and help that poor bird, or I'll fire you. The minister then went to the captain and said, Do everything that sparrow asks you, or I'll report you to the king. The captain said to the soldier, Help that sparrow, and that's an order. The soldier went over to the carpenter. Find that bird's bean, or I'll kick you off this bridge. The carpenter searched all day, and as the sun was setting, he finally found the bean. The sparrow was thankful, and he ate well for the next week. Sparrow smiled. What a day! Ant smiled as he walked away. Big or small, don't forget, you deserve every bit of respect. This cute little story, Sparrow's Lost Bean, teaches us about helping others when you can, and it doesn't matter how small or big you are. What matters is your attitude and right thinking. Hope you enjoyed listening to this story, and I will see you all soon. Happy listening!